Hello, good afternoon, uh, Reds Financial. My name is uh, Ryan Neal, and I'm here today to kind of talk about some uh, new softwares that can probably be beneficial to our firm. Um, we're going to talk about kind of the three main, you know, players within the uh, firm. You know, you kind of hear them throughout the way. I'm sure all you guys know a lot about them, but I'll tell you kind of the pros and cons today, the strengths and weaknesses of these um, softwares kind of where I kind of see they fit within our firm and kind of where they can maybe improve on each one of them but let's go ahead and jump into them. I'm going to kind of split it up and talk about each one separately just so it's kind of easier to follow. Uh, we'll kind of go through all of them and then at the end we'll come back to them and uh, see where I think it fits within our firm's culture and what we kind of want to accomplish here for the future. Uh, we're going to talk about Money Guy Pro today. Uh, Nava Plan and eMoney. I'm sure, like I said, you've all heard about these three before. They're main players within the uh, financial industry. And uh, I look forward to uh, getting some feedback from you guys after this presentation. But we'll go ahead and get started with uh, eMoney today. Um, it's a very advisor friendly software. It's uh, very comprehensive in nature, very scalable for our firm. You know, with only having about 15 advisors right now, we kind of see our firm getting bigger in the future and wanting to bring on more um, uh, clients as well. It could be great for us in the uh, future to really, you know, it's, it's quick and efficient, easy to move around. The software itself is very easy to move on on our side. It's not necessarily the uh, biggest client friendly on the side, but they're getting better. You know, in recent years, they're starting to uh, make their uh, client portals a little bit more uh, client friendly, and uh, we can see it kind of getting better in the future as well. They're working hand in hand. I read an article the other day saying that uh, um, they're, you know, they just put a lot of R and D into fixing that side because, you know, one of the competitors we're going to talk about today, Money Guy Pro. One of their best aspects is the client portal, in which attracts, you know, firms like ourselves. Um, it's kind of got one of the cool things that it does have is it's got the uh, pre-made what if scenarios so we can go in and really kind of mess around with the plan and it's already kind of got some stuff you got to do you don't really have to waste a lot of time as an advisor to go in and uh, find you know your what if scenario you can really go in and use those um, it's got really convenient to see uh, financial statements you can go in and see you know the cash flow statement you can go see the uh, um, you know your net worth statement whatever it may be that you need to go see it's very easy easy to use on both sides of the aisle the client and the advisor it's got really really good data integration so other firms and stuff they have a lot of uh, um, uh, you know joined with other uh, places uh, other softwares that you can bring into it and use for you know tax planning estate planning what whatever you may need like I said it's very comprehensive Overall, the, the software itself is very narrow in range compared to uh, some of these other ones we're going to talk about. It's uh, not the most comprehensive that we're going to talk about today. Money Guide Pro, I would say, is going to be kind of the more comprehensive one. Um, some of the strengths and weaknesses of eMoney, um, the cash flow, it's very cash flow based. Uh, very easy to follow for cash flow for the client to put a lot of their stuff in and like I said it's very narrow so as a, a an advisor it's really you're just going to be putting like smaller things in it's not as customizable whenever you're uh, inserting uh, certain details into a plan um, it's got real-time data alerts which is really cool and uh, I personally think that's really cool so whenever the market's changing it's going to send an alert to you and to the client uh, whether you know something's changed within your uh, portfolio or your plan that may be changed that day or that second and it sends out alerts which is really cool and it's got a really cool kind of robust tax engine uh, that's kind of new they just added that within it as well very cool um, new aspect they added. Um, I'm a big tax planner myself so I'm glad they added that to it. Um, it's got lots of info on reports so kind of you can look at that either way. Um, you know me I kind of like to keep my stuff to a uh, you know lighter load. Uh, it could be heavy for uh, clients. It could be you know heavy for you as well. Lots of information within these reports that you're going to be handing out to your clients but it could be good on another hand if you have a client that would love to see every single detail and has a lot of questions. So it's you know great um, we'll kind of move on here a little bit we'll talk about the uh, price here this is going to be kind of one of the more expensive ones we're going to see today uh, it's going to be twenty four hundred dollars per, per advisor and that's very heavy on uh, what we're going to talk about here in a little bit it had doesn't it used to give a discount but they don't do a discount too much anymore um, so kind of 
when I put that into uh, retrospect, you know, we'll kind of move on here. If you have any more questions about uh, um, where, you know, you see this thing here at the end of the presentation, feel free to ask me some questions. Um, I've got a little bit more I could talk about, but we're running low on time here. Um, we'll move on to Money Guide Pro. This is my fan favorite. I've loved this one. I've got a lot of experience with Money Guide Pro through my program in college and with you know my other jobs. Money Guide Pro is very very client friendly. And they say it's not advisor friendly, but whenever you get you know some time in it and some uh, experience, it's very freely easy, easily use, very accessible. Um, the software in it is very customizable. You can kind of change up the plan a lot. The what if scenarios are a lot more easier to use in my opinion than the e-money. It's very easy to kind of go in and kind of change up however you would want it. And another really cool thing, like I said, is client friendly. So it's very interactive. It's got what they call a play zone. So you still have control of the plan, but your uh, client can go in and mess around with it however they would like to. And uh, I think that's awesome for any client. They can go mess around. They don't necessarily have to be stuck to you know what you're putting into the plan and everything. They can change up you know investment assets. They can change up where they put should put this money, where should put this uh, cash flow. It's not really as cash flow heavy as eMoney was, but it's very comprehensive, very comprehensive in nature, which I think is great for this firm. You know, we're a comprehensive uh, planning firm, and so overall, you know, it's a it's a great fit for us. Uh, it's with it not being cash flow uh, friendly, it is kind of bad for like uh, you know stock options and uh, stock performances and stuff like that. It does have a really good Monte Carlo scenario, very easy to read for you and your client. You know, all three of these have a Monte Carlo uh, scenario. Didn't really say it earlier, but eMoney's Monte Carlo is not the best to uh, you know look at or uh, friendly to the eye as visuals as Money Guide Pro is. Um, it's very data in integrative, just like eMoney, but this one has a little over a hundred uh, um, other firms and softwares that can integrate into. Uh, Money Guide Pro, which is great for a comprehensive plan like us for us, because you know we're going to be doing all kinds of planning for our uh, clients and whatnot. It's going to be more of a broad capability, broad capability, and you can really kind of do whatever you want in the plan. Tell you know how it's going to, how money's going to go here, how money's going to do there. Can't really do so much of that in eMoney, uh, kind of comparing the two. Um, but uh, it's just a great presentation overall. It's very user friendly, very great for the client, great for us, and uh, very easy to use after a little bit of experience. Like I said, at first it's not the most, it's a little heavy on the eyes, heavy on the brain, but after you know you get a, a, some time with it, it's very easy to use, in my opinion. Um, but uh, with our time running down here, I'm going to move on to uh, Navaplan. Well, hold on one sec. The uh, We'll look at the price of Money Guy Pro. It's very easy, it's very cheap right now compared to, or cost efficient compared to eMoney. It's about uh, seven hundred fifty dollars per um, uh, advisor. So for us, that's you know very cost efficient compared to eMoney being at that twenty four hundred dollars. Um, so that's kind of where we're looking at right there with Money Guy Pro and eMoney. So like I said, we'll move on to uh, Navaplan. It's very very like eMoney. They have a lot of similarities in a lot of stuff. Um, Navaplan is very asset and liability based. It's got great management for assets and liability. It's not just used for retirement. Um, it's easier to use than eMoney. I would say the software itself is very easy to maneuver around, easier to learn, um, but it lacks in uh, uh, cash flow. So it's not necessarily as cash flow heavy as uh, um, eMoney is. But uh, overall, it is a uh, you know very compared comparable to eMoney through the industry. You look up reviews, you look up kind of who's used what, who hasn't used what. A lot of people compare these two a lot. Um, you know, it's not as com comprehensive friendly as Money Guide Pro, um, but it's uh, very you know comprehensive in nature. But it's not like Money Guide Pro. Uh, the good with the cash flow, like I said, but it's not as cash flow friendly as eMoney. Um, it's easier to use than eMoney. I've said that already. Um, it's got a very easy to use client portal, easier than eMoney. Um, that's where eMoney is lacking on. They could do a lot better um, in nature. eMoney could. They've got to fix that problem quite a bit. Um, they're uh, they have a very detailed uh, planning for or uh, good investment planning. So it's very detailed when you go in and look at this. It's good on the eyes. Good to see. 
Um, it's good for you to read. The client's easily to read, and if they ever had any questions, the reports on it aren't as uh, comprehensive as uh, eMoney, so they're very easy to read, kind of uh, less wording, more kind of on the charts and uh, what's going on here and kind of more explains things a little bit better. Um, one thing that they could really improve on kind of is their price. They are kind of hefty on the uh, price. They're going to be around the range of uh, e-money at about uh, 2415 but they do offer a discount. 25% uh, discount uh, for our firm size, so with 15 advisors, we'll get about a 25% discount. And then you get another 5% discount based on the year of the contract. So if you do a five-year contract, that first five years you don't get 5%. But at 10 years, you get a 5%. So 5% at 10, 5% at 15, another 5 at 20, another 5 at 25. So get another 20%. So you can end up with a 45% discount per advisor. And so that kind of puts us in the range of the price of uh, Money Guy Pro, maybe a little bit more, about $300 more than Money Guy Pro um, after these discounts. Because I would assume we would sign a long term uh, contract with anybody that we do. And so I've kind of put those uh, discounts in it into um, this thing. Um, but uh, overall, all three of these are uh, great in their own nature, fantastic. I will kind of say I forgot to talk about where they can uh, improve on. So eMoney definitely can needs to, like I said, improve on their uh, client um, basis, like kind of where their client portal can get in and make it a little easier for them to read documents and reports and stuff like that. But like I said, they're working on it. They've got a lot to uh, uh, work on, but they're they're pushing through. Like I said, I read that article a few weeks back. Money Guy for Pro, great for clients. Um, they could fix the uh, software interface a little bit, in my opinion. I th don't think it's the prettiest looking thing you're ever going to see, but you know, in our field, no one really cares too much about that. But it's and they can make it a little more uh, easier to use off the bat, um, rather than having to get a little bit more experience to move through it f uh, freely and quickly. And then one thing about uh, Navaplan, like I said, it's a lot like eMoney. They don't really like set themselves too much apart from uh, the other competitors within the uh, industry. You know, they're right there with eMoney. We've got a few kind of discrepancies there, but they don't really have one of those things that you can look at on their uh, software that really kind of sets them apart from other things that uh, would make you want to kind of you know pursue them, especially with their uh, price of. Uh, uh, admission to get into that uh, software per advisor but uh, those are a few things where they could do a little bit better on uh, so we're kind of running low on time here we got about another minute and a half two minutes left uh, we'll go ahead and talk about kind of where I see these on compared to which one we should do I'll read them kind of one to three being one is money guy pro for uh, for sure I think it's the best fit for our firm. It's easy. It's great for clients. You know, uh, it brings. It's going to bring in more clients. And you can say, hey, you can go in and you, we have a playground for you to play and learn about investing. And you can learn about what we're doing here. And you don't have to kind of be in the dark whenever we make uh, investments or do something within your plan. And you can go in and you can kind of combat that. And if you ever have any questions about it, we can always answer that as well. Um, but number one for sure is Money Guy Pro for the price and for the software itself. Number two, eMoney, just because it does kind of set itself apart from Navaplan and uh, a lot of cash flow uh, cases. Um, it's moving a lot more towards comprehensive, easy to use, and they are working on their uh, um, easy to use for their uh, um, for the clients as well. So eMoney is definitely up there. But one thing is they do not uh, offer those discounts like Navaplan. And that is definitely a downer for being twenty four hundred dollars per advisor. Um, but you know, with these, as we get bigger in the future, we could you know come back to them and maybe get some discounts and stuff. And number three, of course, is going to be Navaplan. There's nothing wrong with Navaplan. It's a great software. I personally had great experiences with Navaplan. But for what our firm is looking for right now, it is going to be you know number three on the list. They've got a few things to scratch out, and like I said, they need to get. You know, one thing that sets them ahead or uh, puts them ahead of other competitors within the uh, within their field. But with all that being said, that really concludes what we do have here. And uh, if you do have any questions, I do know that this is a video. Uh, please feel free to uh, uh, reach out to me and ask me any questions you want. Uh, Money Guy Pro all the way. Uh, if you guys have any discrepancies, please let me know. Thank you so much for your time today, and I hope everybody has a good rest of their evening. Thank you.